Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Foscam. This is their FI9928P HD Wireless PTZ Dome IP camera. You can check it out on Amazon at the time of this review for $349, and I'll have that link in the description below. Now this is an indoor slash outdoor camera, and it's super high quality. Uh, it's got up to HD 1080p. Uh, you can use Wi-Fi or a wired Ethernet connection. Four times optical zoom. It does take a micro SD card slot for storage internally, or you can purchase cloud storage from Foscam. If we look at the side of the box, you'll see that there is a QR code that you can scan to get the uh, app that you can use on your mobile device, or you can actually view this right through your Chrome or IE browser, which I'll be showing you a little later in the video. If you want to check out uh, Foscam, you can check them out at www.foscam.com. I'll have that link in the description below. Remote pan and tilt here with 355 degree horizontal viewing and 90 degree vertical viewing, four times optical zoom, uh, infrared night vision for up to 196 feet. Uh, you also have motion detection, ONVIF compatibility, and cloud service that you can purchase from them if you wish. So you have many options here with this particular camera uh, as far as uh, motion detection alerts, cloud service, night vision, four times optical zoom, and that awesome remote pan and tilt as well, which works very well. And I'll show you that in an upcoming demonstration. Overall, uh, a lot of features packed into this camera Let's take a look at this side here. Again, two megapixel HD wireless IP camera compatible uh, with the Foscam app, which is iOS and Android, motion detection, alarm, push to email, FTP or mobile app, 196 feet range for uh, in total darkness and four times optical zoom. So let me unbox this and then I will be right back. So once you get everything out of the box, this is what you get and you get a ton of stuff. So I'm gonna quickly go over some of this for you uh, so we can cover this. They do have a sticker here that lets you know that you are under video surveillance. Uh, they've got a uh, card here that will allow you to uh, contact them have you need for any questions. Uh, they do have a US number as well as several other companies. A warranty card uh, and you can again scan that QR code for the app to download to your mobile. A software and user manual on CD and in case you want to add this to your PC or Mac uh, and you will also have that available to you. Quick setup guide here for the uh, camera itself and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because we're showing you pretty much you know what comes in the box already and I'm going to show you a little demo. You get an Ethernet cable. You can set this camera up wireless or wired if you want to. You do have your power cable. You are going to have to supply power to this. Uh, this is an input of 100 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz and an output of 12 volts at 2 amps. So be in mind of that uh, and you will have to supply power to this particular camera. Get some more out of the way here. A few more things in the back. They do give you some mounting hardware and an Allen key, uh, which will actually allow you to get into the reset hole up here and also your waterproofed housing for your local storage, which would be micro uh, SD card. Uh, and you can add that, or you can just buy flat, um, cloud storage from them as well. You've got your Wi-Fi antenna that will connect to the back of the camera itself. And then you actually have a uh, watertight housing here that you can actually hook up so that it will keep your uh, wiring uh, watertight uh, should you mount this outside. Taking a look at the camera itself, this thing is built like a tank. And that is awesome, especially if you're going to use this outdoors. You can see that uh, it does have several IR LEDs around it that do a great job. The door at the top here is for that Allen key and will house your uh, storage. It is waterproof and it also has a reset button inside it as well that will actually uh, reset the camera back to factory settings should you need to do so. 
The IR LEDs are spaced very nice and do pretty good at uh, almost total darkness. Uh, and I don't have an actual night test on this, but you will be seeing a demo of uh, daytime and indoor testing. Uh, on the back, you do have your uh, spot here to put your actual Wi-Fi antenna. It's super simple to do. Just screw it in and you're ready to go for Wi-Fi connected you also have this cable that comes out, and again, this cable will offer a lot of uh, inputs for you and outputs. You've got sound output. You have an Ethernet wired output here. Uh, you do have an alarm uh, input and output. You have your power input and output as well. So you can pipe sound uh, to the camera and uh, from the camera. And then, of course, your alarm setup is here as well if you need to set that. And of course, you also have your wired Ethernet connection. Overall, uh, very, very well built device here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to uh, the portion where we go into the software and show you how it looks when it's running. Uh, again, you can see that pan and tilt that works very, very well. And you'll see that in just a second in our demonstration. So let me get to that and I will be right back. Okay, so once we get to our desktop here, uh, you do have uh, a way to control this via just using your actual web browser. I'm using Chrome at the moment. And you can see that I have the camera set up. You get your time, uh, the camera model number here. And it's just set up in a hallway looking into a bedroom. Uh, you can switch your modes, uh, 50 hertz, 60 hertz outside. Uh, you do have your stream here that you can do 1080p or 720p or VGA uh, or user defined even, which is actually pretty cool. So if your bandwidth supports it, uh, you can actually uh, define your bandwidth. And as long as you have a fast enough internet connection, you should be good to go. You have options for WDR and NAA as well, off or on. Uh, you can mirror your image. And you can also uh, flip your image as well, which may become useful in certain situations. You've got zooming in and zooming out buttons. Uh, so if I want to zoom in to uh, closer to the bedroom there, you'll see that we can zoom in pretty far with that four times op optical zoom. And it does just take the camera a few seconds to actually cycle through its auto focus mode and then it will snap into place as it did right there. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to do so and you can manually do that with the focus below. So if I want to um, focus manually, I can. Uh, you've got a nice a wheel here to either adjust up and down. Uh, you can also tilt as well. So let's zoom back out here. And again, you can see the focus does take a few seconds to happen. And if you get it to the point where it just can't quite focus, you can use the manual focus to lock it in. Uh, and then what will happen is you just have to do a few quick clicks real quickly uh, to get it back into uh, focus there. Uh, in low light situations, every once in a while that happens, but uh, it, overall the autofocus works pretty good. Using this manual wheel, I can uh, pan and tilt uh, in any orientation that I want to there. Uh, so it gives you a wide angle to actually view uh, when you're doing so. Uh, you can go all the way around. And this will give you an option to get uh, certain shots that you might not be able to with a static IP camera. Uh, so nice job by them for doing this. Of course, there's a laundry basket for you. If you want to center it, you can just hit the center button and it will center it on its own. Of course, once you're done centering, you can always use the wheel to uh, put it to any angle you want to uh, and reposition it the way you would like to. There's several uh, options for cruise here, uh, presets uh, that we'll get into at the bottom. You've got uh, your input and output for audio, uh, playing and pausing recorded videos. If we take a look at cruise, you can either cruise vertical or horizontal and it will do that on its own. So depending on whether you want it to uh, kind of scan 
back and forth or up to down, you can do that. Presets, uh, top, uh, side, left and right, bottom, guard positions, IR LEDs, either off or on. Uh, for night, I usually just leave this on auto and then you can, uh, when it switches over to night, it will pick everything up. And you have full color adjustment as well as uh, you know, uh, contrast and everything as well. If we take a look at settings, it's going to give you your camera name, your uh, ID, the time, the system firmware version, plug-in version. Uh, you've got uh, device information, status, your logs, your basic settings, which are going to be the name, the time again, uh, network, uh, IP configuration, uh, wireless settings, uh, DNS, ports, FTP settings, you're going to have video settings here where we can look in, and this is on our stream type. We can use user defined or HD mode, constant bit rate or variable bit rate, keyframes, uh, frame rates, on screen display, IR LED schedule, uh, detector for motion, sound detection, and of course your IO alarm, uh, record storage locations, SD card management. Pan, tilt, and zoom, speeds, settings, startup options, firewall settings as well for IP filtering. And of course, in system, you can do backup and restore, system updates, uh, factory resets, or reboot the camera itself. So overall, uh, they did a really, really good job on this uh, interface. It works very, very well. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. And of course, you can always use the uh, app for mobile as well if you would like to. And uh, you can uh, view this particular camera from any mobile device. I'm gonna take this to the end of the review. So that's my review of the Foscam FI 9928P high definition indoor outdoor PTZ dome camera. I think they did an excellent job on the hardware. The picture is excellent. And also, I think they did a great job on the interface as well. There are a ton of options for this particular camera. So if you're looking for a great outdoor camera or even an indoor camera, this one should go on your short list. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this camera, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video. Thank you.